All right, Dude Brothers here, Max and Chubbs. Today, we're going over the Rambo Trail, Rambo 5. Now, we're old school where we saw the first couple Rambos come out and become a phenomenon. So today, we are checking out Rambo 5, and we're going to talk about it in 3, 2, 1. Hey, we're doing that. I had a bow and arrow. Baby explosion. You know, each Rambo movie has its own knife. You can buy it. Oh, what was the Yeah, I never noticed that. Well, if a guy have had nothing, he's got a pretty nice piece of property there. He's got a mansion, for Christ's sakes. He's, Rambo's doing pretty good. <laughs> and can you just bury people in the back? Apparently. Well, I guess you're not going to tell Rambo that. <laughs> All these years I've kept my secrets. But the time has come to face my past. I'm coming out. <laughs> and if it comes looking for me. Why would these guys be his pace? It was a Vietnam vet that well, fucked cops. The only thing I know is he has like a daughter or granddaughter who's Hispanic, so that's a drug war or something. Oh, what if, like, one of the cops he killed in the first movie? <laughs> yeah. You never know. I mean, he never really killed him on purpose, but see, he's in a tunnel. Because I was saying, you know, it looked like his traps were Vietnam-era traps, you know? They are. See, like, the spongy yeah. sticks coming down? Yeah, it very much looks like Vietnam-era traps, which I think is awesome if you stick into his character at all, you know? Okay, he's straight up murdering people. Rambo, last blood. Mm. Until the next blood. Coming soon. Now, so what's your Rambo experience? I, like most 80s kids, like Rambo First Blood Part 2 came out. Now, in high school I was called Rambo. <laughs> so, you, I, I like... I like it for different reasons. You got Ram the first Rambo, first blood, he's in the mountains and he has to survive and it's police and you get what happened in real life to the poor Vietnam guys who, it's not their war, but they came back and were spit on and he was just trying to survive and he showed him like, if you want to mess with him, fine. Mm -hmm. The second one, it's, you got to go back. Don't bring POWs, take pictures, but he finds them and he does his job and he's well. The police chief in the first Rambo. What else was he in? I know he had a. Oh, uh, I knew he was in a Brian lot. Brian Dennehy. He was in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm just picturing him for something else. To me, it's the theme of Rambo. Like they created. What year did Rambo come out? The 80. first one was like '84, maybe. Uh, I'll either look that 86. up. '86. So, '86. I think '86. I think the second one was '86. Anyway, fun fact: as we talk about in most of our stuff, the first Rambo. The first blood in the mountains and everything is a book. And it was supposed to be an older character. And Sylvester Stallone was younger. Right. But I'd like to point out that in the movie before 5, 4, where he's in like Burma, at the end of the movie, they show him going home. His mailbox says, you know. What I think I've only seen 1 and 2. 3 with the Russians? When he fights the Russians with Afghanistan? Oh, yeah. And he okay. had the leeches and all. Okay, then you have three. four, which was like, two, like, let's say 2016. Something, it wasn't that long ago. Okay. It was 15, 16, or 17. Maybe Sorry. I didn't that. Um, where religious people want to go help out. And that's the one I showed you where he gets in the back of the truck with a 50 caliber. Okay. And he's wiping people out. And I said, that's how you kill zombies. But anyway, then... Now we have this. This didn't show it, but he has a daughter or granddaughter. And that's where the drug dealers come in. But, he, yeah, but they go to get him and they don't realize he's a killing machine. The whole point of Rambo is, they tr like, I, Troutman, I guess, that guy passed away. The guy who played Colonel Troutman. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. But, in real life? He's... Yes, in real life he passed away. But in the first two oh, movies, they dad. make it clear, like, we created this killing machine. Right. There's nothing you can do about it, sorry. But that's the point of Rambo. Like, if you want to make somebody for war, you can't put him back in society. And here, it looks like he's like, okay, well, come to my house and let's try this. And 
we won't say why, but we're fans of like, okay, he has tunnels and he builds mines. Because well, I remember when the first Rambo came out, that was when me and you were like building clubs houses in the woods. And you All right. know what I mean? All right, here's a quick story for everybody. We're playing kind of hide and go seek with a couple friends, and I had I had a clubhouse my father built. It was great. We set up a trip line of rope about ankle level and went and hid. <laughs> <laughs> when the people eventually met up with us, they said, I can't believe you did that and went that far. Good job. <laughs> so apparently we got him. We didn't see him fall. But that's why we are the Dew Brothers. So stay tuned. We're going to keep doing all kind of reviews, old and new. That's Max. I'm Chubbs. We're the Dew Brothers. Over and out.